I went into this year with goals of staying healthy and just lasting as long as I could on the field, playing as much as I could, and winning as much as we could. I have very high expectations for myself. This is my career, and I control what happens to me. What I do defensively, I gotta say that that's probably my favorite thing. Not a lot of balls hit the ground. Deep left center field, long run for Crow Armstrong. Can he get there? He slides. Fighting catch by Crow Armstrong. You know, at the plate, I get on base. Stuff's probably gonna happen. I'm trying to contribute as much as I can on all aspects of the game. But the word doesn't stop. My expectations going into the draft were just to get picked. I was very grateful to the Mets for starting my career off. That's exactly where I wanted to be at that time. You know, it just happened to be me that was traded. When I got the call and the news, it was surreal for sure. I don't know if I really believed it 100% until I got to Arizona. Felt like a reset a little bit. Getting traded for him, it's hard to explain just because it's a guy that I grew up kind of idolizing. He's not the same player as me, but I saw a lot of, you know, who I wanted to be in him. And now Bias is going to try to score the throw to the plate, and he is safe. It meant a lot for that reason, I think. It felt personal made me very excited to go play in, in the Cubby Blue. I always loved Alfonso Soriano and the Ramos Ramirez. I grew up watching all those games because of my dad. At that time, I think in my life, I had just only liked players. But I ended up graduating to Cubs fandom eventually. There was a wall we had in our backyard, and. You know, when I was smaller, the backyard was big enough for me to, to treat it like the wall at Wrigley. And I guess I was starting to manifest back then. But even then, there's worlds of work to be done. Since nobody's on music, does that mean I get to be? Ha! I tore my right labrum. It was my non-throwing shoulder, which was, you know, the biggest blessing that you could probably take out of all of that. Not getting a season made me miss it even more. And once I got hurt, it became all rehab, all, all physical therapy, all just getting right and, and getting back. I treated the rehab process like, like I just had a whole year to get better. And I think that in itself made it that much easier for me just to kind of like feel like a cub, you know, kind of right away. Everybody there welcomed me really quickly and it made the rehab process a whole lot easier. And I think it ended up working out really well. Special guest joining us live right now from the outfield, Pete Crow Armstrong. What's up, Pete? Hey guys, I uh, I'm you excited ready to, to do, do this? this. Yeah, let's get it. Let's go. Getting to play in the Futures game was it was special. Oh yes. Go, Pete. You know that that was one thing that showed me that a lot of the work I did in the off season paid off. I guess I was just taken back by, by the honor, and I feel like it just it worked out kind of better than I could have asked. 
in the future with the Cubs, I, I think the goal is to create our, our own story. We got a group, you know, pretty big group of people who are gonna be impactful players. A perfect world would be a lot of us sticking together as, as we go. One more pitch is launched. A walk-off grand slam and the Pelicans walk it off. We all expect World Series, plural. I want to bring rings back to the city of Chicago. That's the goal.